all around the world spend billions, billions of dollars every year on personal growth. Whether they purchase books, courses, coaching packages, doesn't matter. They're investing time and money on reaching their potential, their human potential. But everyone experiences personal growth naturally as they navigate through life's experiences. In fact, your personal growth is often caused by challenges and loss and relationships and even spiritual enlightenment, like when something spiritual just happens to you. When life hands you new circumstances or experiences, you adapt. You grow into a new version of yourself. And that's the process that continues your entire life, the process of personal growth. Humans are enormously resilient. They bend and they grow as necessary, but they also do it by choice. You don't have to change simply through pain and suffering. You can choose to grow consciously, taking action to become a new, a better version of yourself. And that's what those interested in personal growth tend to do. They choose to grow. But what is personal growth? We talk about personal growth a lot, but not everyone really understands the term. Excuse me. The words personal growth commonly are used interchangeably with personal development and self-improvement or self-growth even, Um, but they all relate to the same thing, positively developing the self as it relates to your habits, mindsets, reactions, behaviors, skills, uh, wisdom, character, and consciousness. Personal growth is how we live up to our human potential. And philosophers and theologists and psychologists continuously try to determine the best methods and strategies and tools to help you step into what some would call your best self. Personal growth is also an ongoing process. It starts at an early age. It's at that point, it's shaped by parents and teachers and your environment and circumstances and your experiences. I kind of like vision Um, Lakiani's um, definition from Mind Valley, he defines uh, it as as this way. Personal growth is the improvement of our skills, knowledge, wisdom, habits, behavior, and personal qualities. Personal development, see he's using the terms interchangeably. Personal development allows you to reach your full potential, be your best self, and live your happiest, most successful life. I see personal growth as any positive mental, physical, spiritual transformation. It's not just about learning, but about also applying what you learn so it become, so you change and it becomes part of who you are. In other words, it changes your identity, who you are being. You know, I talk about a lot. So the thing is that you are growing all the time. Um, people choose to grow consciously, um, like when they set a new goal or New Year's resolution. So you might, for example, decide to lose weight. And so you change your exercise routine and your eating habits. And that's a transformation, right? A a change. It's you growing. Um, If a friend ghosts you, uh, you know, stops talking to you for no, you know, no explained reason, you might choose to forgive yourself for whatever you did even if you don't know what it is, and to forgive the friend for not sharing why they don't want to be in a relationship with you. You may want to be more committed, more grateful, more self-integral, more loving, healthier, skinnier. So you decide to change. And these choices and the goals around those um, cause you to intentionally experience personal growth rather than to rely on something that seems external and out of your control. Now, There are lots of benefits, obviously, to personal growth. They help you achieve your goals and and be be your best self, achieve your human potential. But it's important to think about Maslow's hierarchy of needs because he says um, or said that personal growth, which he called self-actualization, leads to the highest form of human fulfillment. So working on yourself, growing, choosing to consciously grow is going to make you feel more fulfilled. It also enhances the way you enjoy all aspects of life. It's going to make you a happier person. So personal growth is makes it possible to develop supportive habits that help you achieve your goals and be the person you want to be. Um, 
it, it helps you behave in the way you want to behave, um, to re respond instead of react. It helps you achieve your goals, as I said, personally and professionally and spiritually and in terms of your health and relationships. There, everything you do to enhance yourself, who you are being in the world, how you are showing up is going to have an impact. It's going to have a ripple effect all throughout your life. Now, there are five times types of personal growth, just so you know. There's mental growth, and that's expanding your mental capacity, developing developing your mind, your mindset, your self-talk, you know, negative thinking, those kinds of things. Then there is social growth, which is improving your social skills, developing your communication skills, um, setting boundaries with others, that sort of thing. Spiritual growth is connecting to your spiritual self, or, and it's related to connecting to a higher presence um, or to your soul, um, accessing your intuition, accessing spiritual guidance, all of that. Then there is emotional growth, and that's could say increasing your emotional intelligence, how you deal with and express your emotions and how you deal with other people's emotions. And then of course there's physical growth or health growth, boosting your overall health and well-being. <clears throat> excuse me, your and of course habits and mindsets would go with that as well. Now, you might be wondering how to achieve personal growth. So you have to be willing to get out of your comfort zone and do something that stretches you for your own good, right? Um, there are lots of ways for you to, to go about this. You can um, read books, you can take courses, you could listen to podcasts, you could hire a coach, you could get out of your comfort zone. Um, in general, just do something that makes you uncomfortable. Um, you could find some growth friends, a group of people who are also interested in personal growth. You could create a growth plan, right? Where you plan out how you're going to grow. It's almost like a learning plan. And you can facilitate your personal growth through reading and therapy and all kinds of things, right? <clears throat> now, <clears throat> excuse me, to go back to the benefits or why, why you might want to engage in personal growth consciously is that it gives you the tools to thrive. If you want life to get better, you need to be, get, be a better version of yourself. Change happens from the inside out. So we change ourselves and our circumstances and our life changes as a result. So if you want to live a happy life, personal growth helps. It's the key also to success in many areas of human experience. Um, you know, we all want to have healthy and loving relationships. We want to ha be happy and positive and feel um, peaceful and fulfilled. We want greater resilience. We want career success. We want financial success. We want motivation and productivity and inspiration. We want to feel calm no matter what's going on around us. <clears throat> we want a healthy body, mind, and spirit. And personal growth helps you get all of that. Um, you know, it, to me... Personal growth is probably the most important thing that you can be focused on in your life. And that's why I offer the Inspired Creator Community, where I have high performance coaching, which is a form of um, what uh, Brendan Burchard, the creator um, of it, would say is personal development. That's what he would call it. So I offer personal development and I also offer spiritual growth. <clears throat> so personal and spiritual growth combined in the Inspired Creator Community. So that again is a certified high performance coaching and then transformational coaching or what I have called inspired results coaching. And so that's that combination of personal and spiritual growth, right? And it's gonna help you <clears throat> when you work on yourself, you're going to be, you know, kind of all you can be, right? And the world needs you to be the best version of yourself, but only when you are strong, happy, <clears throat> fulfilled, can you go out there and help others? So I would leave you with a question, why, which is why leave you leave, why leave your personal growth to chance? Or why leave it <clears throat> to the to a painful or challenging situation? It's better to consciously choose to change, to do what's necessary to grow and become the best version of yourself. So I would challenge you to focus on your personal growth, no matter how you decide to do that. 
and then see how when you change yourself on the inside, how your life changes. I'm Nina Amir, the Inspiration to Creation Coach. <clears throat> I, as I said, help people with their personal growth. I am a transformational coach. I'm a certified high performance coach. And it is my honor to help people get from where they are to where they want to go by becoming the person that they need to be to make that happen. So if that's of interest to you, whether it's personal growth, spiritual growth, career growth, whatever, click on the link above and consider joining the Inspired Creator Community where I can support you in your personal and spiritual growth journey. It would really be my honor and my pleasure to do that. This is my passion and my life's work. So again, click on the link above for the Inspired Creator Community. If you're interested in just transformational coaching, which would be the spiritual growth and personal growth combined, or you're only interested in personal growth, then reach out to me. Just send me an email at nina at ninaamir.com or go to my site, ninaamir.com, and you'll see that you can, you can uh, sign up for a free kind of discovery call with me, a strategy session to talk about the different types of coaching. I would love to help you grow and to be a witness to that journey. Until I talk to you next time, go out there and achieve more inspired results. Mm -hmm.